all right guys so heading out to do a little bit of cardio um, cardio is going to be also a big role in shedding out in leaning out and also I'm going to keep up my cardiovascular health just because I ran so much in the past month so it is and it will be nice to upkeep you know that health and what I already trained for Hey guys, so just finished up my cardio session, so I did 6.4 kilometers, which is exactly 4 miles. So the idea of cardio sessions is to burn some extra calories, but most importantly, it is to work on your heart and lung health, on your cardiovascular endurance and health in general, because for the past few months I did a lot of running, and I really don't want to lose the shape of my fitness in terms of running. So I will try to do, do this at least twice a week uh, with the full-time job and everything just so I don't lose the shape and my fitness in running. And if I feel like uh, everything's going great, maybe I will even up, up the training schedule in, in terms of cardio as well. So the grind never stops even though it's very cold weather outside. You already know the grind keeps going. Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be showing you what I usually eat in a day. But take this uh, calorie count with the grain of salt. Because each day is different. You can't eat the same thing every single day. But this will give you a rough idea how you should eat if you want to lose weight. And uh, if you're doing the resistance training and build some muscle. It is very really difficult to build muscle on a calorie deficit. But um, especially if you're a beginner, I think it's definitely possible. But you know, if on the other hand, if you're bulking and want to build some muscle and you're also training at the same time, then it's uh, very easy to build muscle. So the main priority obviously in diet uh, when you're trying to build or lose, if you're trying to build muscle or lose weight, which uh, uh, very more importantly is fat, you're trying to lose the fat, uh, the most important thing of all is protein but uh, I will showcase other macronutrients as well so uh, the first thing that we're gonna have in the morning is coffee just a regular black coffee nothing special to be honest and uh, what I usually add to the coffee as well is flat flat flavor drops there uh, I will show you what it is and basically it's like a sugar but with no calories so you save a little bit of calories there I don't use it too much because uh, I don't want to uh, as you say, everything in moderation, but uh, I also had a little bit of milk as well. Alright, so this is the breakfast. Uh, very simple. So we have coffee with flap drops and a little bit of milk, but not too much. So I would say this is uh, 50 calories. So this is the flap drops I'm using with strawberry, strawberry flavor. Alright, so the next thing that we have is... Uh, Basically a protein drink, a Latvian version of protein drink, so it's like a whey protein essentially and it has 41 gram of protein and it is very low in calories It has 64 calories on 100 milliliters and you have to uh, See that it has 460 grams, so 4.6 times uh, 64 calories, which is roughly 250 and then I Throw in a banana because I will go. I will be going to work, do a workout, back plus biceps and core. So I need a little bit of energy. All right, guys. As you can see, I'm doing pull-ups. So still, uh, my workouts currently are calisthenics based and always will be. The only reason why I'm even at the gym for the most part is because it is winter. It is very cold outside, so I don't really want to work out in the cold. I'm gonna be honest the results are just not as good as when you work out in a warm place where your muscles are always warmer it's just more safer uh, from the injury standpoint as well so it makes more sense plus now that I have to regain the muscle activate the muscle memory and everything and get the gains uh, the most of it you know um, it's extremely important for me to focus 
on uh, doing as much as possible and as efficient as possible and gym really helps me with that it really provides me the opportunity to use the correct weights you know I can add a very specific weight for my pull-ups as you can see and it is working pretty good so I'm already gone through a couple of workouts in my back and biceps I have done two leg workouts already and I think two chest and triceps workouts as well and I did a little bit of course I'm slowly getting back into the groove as you can see I'm doing pull-ups with 20 kilograms which is one plate uh, 45 pound plate and I can already rep it out for a little bit so I'm already gaining the strength back and the look wise um, you can see a little bit of uh, detail in the back it's not super shredded of course because it's been only one month since I've been doing the training uh, so it will take a little bit more time and uh, I need to eat clean this whole time but I feel like uh, it's, I'm gonna get there and for the as for if we speak about the chin-ups uh, I'm doing even better there as always my biceps has been my strong point also I'm doing uh, pull-ups like these these are very good because it trains uh, three different stages of your pull-ups basically the holds are very important the static part as well so don't f don't forget about it also doing the rows but I'm not using the machines as most people in the gym like almost everybody but I'm actually using my body weight uh, just like the calisthenics you know always staying true to that and um, I really love rows I can't really do much reps here uh, so it is very good in a sense because it really trains my strength and after my um, grip is exhausted I switch uh, the grip to biceps so it's more bicep focused as my biceps is very strong I can uh, carry out a little bit more reps that way as well so uh, it is really awesome you can see a little bit of detail in the shoulders already a little bit of separation so we're getting there guys we're getting to the Greek God physique I'm pretty hyped because I know the results will come also now I don't use shoes for my squats as well uh, I forget I forgot about that issue in my previous workout that I use my uh, shoes which is not a great idea you rather uh, do them in socks or barefoot because uh, the the shoes give you kind of a weird uh, situation with your feet I can explain that in another video a little more in detail if anybody is interested so I did uh, squats with uh, 115 kilograms for two reps so gained a little bit of progress there as well so we are progressing already which is awesome so this is the most recent workout and uh, I was really satisfied because I did five reps with uh, 15 kilograms and uh, four or three reps I did with 20 kilograms which is one plate as well so there, there we have the chin ups one plate for five reps if I'm not mistaken which is pretty huge already so I'm really really uh, really really satisfied with the results and uh, yeah what can I say the progress is there and finally we have uh, I'm, I'm finishing the workouts usually with this so I go with the static part then I descend, then I do the static part again, and then I hold myself up on the bar. And uh, yeah, it's a great way to finish workout and increase the strength. And uh, yeah, this was my workout. Stay tuned and see you guys later. Let's move on to the post-workout meal. Alright, so the next up is meal after the workout, so finish the workout, um, had a pretty good one, uh, feel a uh, good improvement in weight of pull-ups already, so I'm pretty excited about the next couple workouts. So what we're gonna have is a lot of protein, so we're gonna use liquid pasteurized egg whites, so this is half a kilogram, so 500 grams of these, and what is also quite important is to have some greens in that so we're gonna have a salad mix green and red ready to eat the already bashed freshly baked produced in Lithuania so say uh, you can say hello to our brown Lucas so so we're gonna have these with the egg whites uh, and if you want if you want some extra carbs you can obviously uh, figure something out but most likely now maybe I will have uh, a carrot or 
Um, I have a cauliflower, I bought one as well. But yeah, this is what we're gonna work with. And also, I'm gonna add some oil, just so everything uh, doesn't get burned. And uh, basically, I'm using olive oil, um, but you have to be very careful. It contains a lot of calories, so you just add a little bit, not a lot. Just, just a little bit. That will be enough. So it has a, a lot of good fats, uh, omega 3s, etc. So it is very good. So we're gonna, and that is pretty much it. All right, so this will be my post workout meal. So we're gonna have half a kilogram of egg whites. We're gonna have some salad mix, green and red, and I've thrown in an apple as well, just to have a little natural sugars as well, just a little carbs for the day. All right, so this was third meal of the day, and it was very protein heavy. But as I said, not every single day is the same. So take this meal with grain of salt. It has a lot of protein. It has a half kilogram of chicken breast, but it does lose a little bit of weight. Um, in between making it and cooking it because uh, a lot of that weight is actually water so it kind of va evaporates and uh, it actually weighs less so these macros may not be 100% accurate if I'm not mistaken but the idea is that you need to have high protein but uh, maybe not always uh, this high it really depends uh, how active your day was etc so this was the third meal and now we move on to the fourth meal I added some extra carbs and again a little bit of meat some protein and uh, just a bit of fats just to make my whole day more balanced so this was the full day of eating and totals macros for the day are 201, uh, 2131 calories 250 grams of protein 150 grams of carbs and 63 grams of fat so I would say really clean calories a lot of protein and you have to take in consideration that I'm very heavy so I think it's completely fine for cutting and bulking for both uh, calories are on point for cutting if I don't do any cardio that day carbs are fine 100 plus grams are all right and 63 grams of fat which is okay if you include the olive oil there is included so I would say that is very nice so that's about it guys so this is it for this video thank you for watching this video don't want to make it much longer because it already is pretty long and uh, the next episode most likely will be a recap for this year and uh, what is the plan for the next as well maybe i will make the separate videos for those topics but we will see so thank you guys for watching this video leave a comment in the comment section down below like this video to support my channel thanks for uh, all the support you guys have given me and i see you guys in the next episode